Welcome students. Welcome to Vistas Learning. I am Amal, your social studies tutor. Today we are going to learn about environment from your 7th grade geography. Before we do that, let me introduce Vistas Learning to you. Vistas Learning, otherwise as we like to call it V-Learning, is an online educational platform which tries to provide quality education to all students. Okay, now let's start with our lesson. As I said, the name of our lesson is environment and in this chapter, we are going to cover various topics such as we will begin with, we will begin with understanding what is environment, then we will move to study the different components of environment, then we will study about the natural environment, then we will learn what is ecosystem and finally we will be learning about human environment. Alright, so let's start. Before we do that, I want you to do one thing. Please take a pen and paper. Okay. Now, I want you to start writing all the things you see around yourself. Can you do that? It can be anything. It doesn't matter. It can be a pen. It can be a table. It can be a bench, a book, paper, whatever it is. Please make sure that you write down all those things that you see around you. Okay, I'll give you 10 seconds to do that. Okay. Done? Good. So, I'm sure you guys have wrote on a list of items in that paper, right? Some of you may have written books, some of you may have read a fan, a sofa, a chair. It, it differs from... It differs, okay. For each of you guys, the list in that item differs. And sometimes there will be similar items also. But there are different items in that, right? Different items in that list. Now, why I have asked you to do this is that we are going to learn about environment, right? So, environment is nothing but what we see around us. Whatever things that is around us, that is our environment. Okay, so in simple terms, environment can be defined as whatever you see in your surrounding right for example in my environment for so my if my if somebody asks about my environment right now my environment is filled with this laptop this mobile this mobile camera the light the ceiling fan this chair i'm sitting right now it differs from each one it, it differs for each one okay okay this is my environment when i'm sitting in this room when I step out of this room or when I step out of this building, okay, there will be other things in my environment. There will be a tree, there will be grass, there will be other human beings, there will be other animals, maybe dogs in the street, right? It all becomes part of my environment. So, in simple terms, environment is whatever you see in your surrounding. Understood? The place, the things and nature that surround any living organism is called environment. Okay, so next time when you get a question what is environment, don't just write that whatever you see in your see in your surrounding. Well, it is right, but it is not the correct definition. The correct definition for environment is the place, the things and nature that surround any living organism is called environment. It is a combination of natural and human made phenomena. Understood? Have you okay? Ha, have you noticed the last sentence? I said it is a combination of natural and human-made phenomena. Okay, in our environment, there are natural things and there are human-made things, right? For example, see, take this picture. Can you see this image here? Okay, on the left side of this image, okay, this image is divided into two pictures. And on the left side, you could see a beautiful forest, a small pond. Right? It's very greenery, right? It's very green. It's right? It's a part of natural environment. And if you have a look at the right side of this picture, if you have a look at the right side image of this picture, right side image, you could see that there are lots of skyscrapers, buildings, well-paved road, sidewalk, advertisement board. All. These things are created by us, right? We created these things with the tools we invented. That is why this is called human-made environment. But both of them are environments. 
there are different types of environment but both of them are environment one is a natural environment other is a human made environment and both of these are part of our environment right when we step into a forest of course the forest becomes our environment okay when we step into an apartment the building and the rooms in that apartment belongs to belongs to our environment and the people inside that apartment or flat or whatever it is understood now i'm going to ask you a question we have learned what is environment right we have learned that the place things and nature that surrounds us is our that surrounds any living organism is called environment and it is a combination of natural and human made phenomena now i want you to answer or i want you to think what about what is the function of environment can you I, mean, i want you to think about it what do you think is the function of the environment any ideas i will tell you see environment is our basic life support system right we don't choose an environment randomly right we choose an environment which will be able to help us right help us to live help us to work help us to perform different task right it is a life support system understood it provides with the air we breathe the food we eat the land we live and the water we drink it provides all the amenities necessary for our life to for us to sustain in this earth right so what is the function of environment the function of the environment is that it is our basic life support system it provides us with the water we drink the air we breathe the land we live and the food we eat right and it also provides us with many other services but these are the basic services okay these are the basic services which environment provide and that makes us or that helps us to survive in this earth right got it good now we are going to deal with an important topic we are going to deal with the components of environment different components of environment actually there are three components for an environment the first one is natural then humans and human made environment and we are going to see each of them in detail we will start with human made component of our environment it's very easy it's very simple see human made environment includes buildings parks amusement parks cinema theaters shopping mall industries roads bridges the school you go to start where you go to study hospitals okay these all institution these institutions and all the other things like road bridges everything built by humans are part of human made environment as the name clearly states there right you don't have to uh, you know uh, think about it a lot from the name itself we can arrive at the conclusion that it is a environment or it is a part of environment made by humans human made human made environment means it's a part of the environment made by us made by humans it includes roads bridges industries parks amusement parks theaters buildings apartments okay the list goes on right now then next important component of our environment is humans see we have human made environment as a part of our environment as, as an important component and then we have humans as also a component of our environment see by humans we are not just taking talking about the uh, physical representation of humans okay there are other things for example in an environment it's not just us okay it also comprises of the relation we have with the community okay the political affiliation we have or the political thought we believe in or in the religion we follow and the economic situation and the educational background everything forms a part of our environment right okay yeah what i mean is that in an environment it's not just about the things we see around us it's about us it's about our connection it's about our relation with our fellow beings it's our, our, about our connection with things around us okay whether it be living or non living it doesn't matter right that is why humans are considered as an important component of environment see when i said that this room is 
right now this room is my environment if somebody steps into this room he will be also a part of my environment right the relation i have with that particular individual will also be part will also is a important component of this environment got it right now we are going to deal with the third component of environment and that is natural environment okay now natural environment is divided into four parts and the first one is land okay otherwise known as lithosphere and water otherwise known as hydrosphere and air otherwise known as atmosphere and finally we have biosphere biosphere is the uh, zone where all living things are possible we will discuss it in later discuss it in detail okay now let's start with lithosphere what do you mean by lithosphere have you heard this word before lithosphere huh see as i mentioned in the other thing. see as i already mentioned in this image lithosphere is also is a is the land part or the land domain of our earth see can you see it in this image is the land domain or the land part of our beautiful earth now what now let me show you another image can you see this image okay that this image depicts the different layers of our earth different layers present inside our earth okay deep inside our earth it is made up of a core it is called inner core okay it's so hot and then on the when we move upwards then we will come we will find outer core okay so in deep inside or it is inner core and when we move forward or when we move upward we have outer core uh, you don't you don't have to study these things right now i'm just saying it for your knowledge okay then we have mantle inner core outer core mantle and finally we have crust okay this crust is part of our lithosphere otherwise the solid crust or the top layer of our land or of our land is known as lithosphere okay what is it what is lithosphere lithosphere is the solid crust above the surface of earth or the hard top layer of the earth and the, in this lithosphere we find low minerals and rocks this is where we find minerals and rocks right and the soil is also is a soil is also an important part of this lithosphere all right now what are the services lithosphere provides us with lithosphere helps us provides us a, provides us with land to live right it helps us to cultivate crops soil of course we need soil right fertile soils to construct to cultivate right now it helps uh, it helps other living beings helps other living beings and we and they in return helps human beings except example plants animals etc right so what is lithosphere lithosphere is the solid crust present above the surface of earth right it is the top hard layer of the earth where rocks and minerals are present and also soil is present right now that's the land domain or land part of our earth it's also called lithosphere now we are going to deal with now we are going to deal with the next part of our natural atmosphere natural environment and that is hydrosphere now tell me what is a hydrosphere does anyone have any idea what hydrosphere is hydrosphere is the domain of water in our earth okay it consists of all the water bodies present in the, in the earth surface whether it be a waterfall it whether it be a ocean or sea river lake pond stream it doesn't matter all these comprises of what hydrosphere all these water bodies are part of hydrosphere okay so it is a water domain of our earth it's a domain of water on the surface of earth and it is known as hydrosphere right there are different sources of hydrosphere or different sources of water on the surface of earth we have lake we have pond we have river we have seas we have oceans streams okay waterfall okay got it these are all water bodies 
and these are all part of hydrosphere now we have discussed about lithosphere which is the land domain of earth then we have discussed about hydrosphere which is the water domain of the earth now we are going to discuss about atmosphere so you know what atmosphere is right what is atmosphere atmosphere is the is a layer of air present around our beautiful earth or present around our planet earth we can't see it right because it is made up of air can we see air no right we can't see air okay our atmosphere is made up of lots of different is made up of different types of gases it has oxygen in it it has carbon dioxide in it and it has other types of gases in it nitrogen and helium argon okay the percentage of these oxygen gases where varies okay it's not same everywhere now and it also consists of our atmosphere also consists of water vapor dust and all right now let me show you an image can you see this image sorry okay. can you see this image you can see it right see can you see the different layers of air uh, atmosphere is divided into troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere exosphere okay these all spheres or the all the things i have just mentioned is a part of atmosphere okay you don't have to learn it right now you will learn these things in higher classes but right now just learn that the atmosphere is a layer of air that surrounds our earth okay and it has different it is stratified into different layers the lowermost layer of atmosphere is called troposphere just above our head okay we are under we come under troposphere and have you heard about ozone layer as you have right okay what do ozone layer do i mean what is the function of ozone layer ozone layer helps us or helps living beings from the harmful rays harmful uv uv rays right it reflects back the harmful uv rays into space right now this ozone layer is present in the stratosphere layer okay it is present in the stratosphere that is the one above the troposphere of uh, troposphere layer okay got it good now this is what atmosphere is now let me ask you a question you know wind flows right wind flows away okay it doesn't stand in one place it continuously moves right and why do you think then our atmosphere made up of gases right gases flows right floats right floats away why do you think our atmosphere made up of gases stays in its place why doesn't it why does it not fly away why does it not fly away into space or somewhere have you ever heard, thought about it why do you think our atmosphere stays in this in around the earth it, why do why do you think it is not moving elsewhere because because of a phenomena called gravity you know what do you know what gravity is see gravity is this force our earth has okay with this force our earth attracts or pulls everything towards it that is why we are able to walk on the earth. otherwise we would be floating on a just like us just like we float in a space or a or instead a space shuttle right this because of this gravity we are able to walk on earth and because of the this same gravity our atmosphere the atmosphere is held i mean our atmosphere is held together that is why it doesn't go anywhere it stays around us because of the gravitational force all right now we have discussed about lithosphere hydrosphere atmosphere now finally we are going to learn about biosphere any idea what biosphere is now we have discussed about the land domain aka lithosphere we have discussed about the air domain aka atmosphere we have discussed about water domain that is what hydrosphere now okay now we have covered all the basic things that human living beings need at right air water land now what do you think a uh, biosphere is huh what part of earth is 
biosphere. Any idea? All right, I will tell you. See, biosphere is the zone where all living organisms exist, all living things exist. Okay, it is a zone where all other components of our natural environment interconnects. Understood? That is, it is where the lithosphere, hydrosphere, and what our atmosphere interconnects and helps living organisms to survive. So it helps to sustain life. I will show you image. Can you see this image? Okay, what can you see here? We have the atmosphere, right? We have the air and we have hydrosphere and we have lithosphere, right? And we have living beings in this area, right? We have fish, we have bear, we have rabbit, we have birds, we have a wolf, right? See? So now, what do you think biosphere is? So biosphere is a zone where living beings are living things are present or living things exist right how it is how is their existence possible because it is a zone where all the other three components of natural environment interconnects with each other and helps to sustain life see we we can see atmosphere lithosphere and hydrosphere in this image right of course living beings need lands no, I am not talking about uh, fishes or anything, but mostly living, uh, animals need land and they need water and they need oxygen to survive. And we know we get waters from the hydrosphere domain or hydrosphere part of earth and we get air from atmosphere. And we, okay, land is a part of lithosphere. Land is lithosphere. Alright, now this is what biosphere means. So biosphere is a zone where all living things exist. It is a zone where all the other three, three components of natural environment that is atmosphere, hydrosphere and lithosphere interconnects with each other and helps to sustain life. Got it? Am I clear? Good. Now, finally, we have reached ecosystem. It's an important topic, but a small topic. Okay, so what is ecosystem? What do you think ecosystem is? Any idea? Think. We have learned that we are learning about environment, and we have learned that environment is our whatever we see in our surroundings, and it is a combination of natural and human-made phenomena. And we have discussed about the different parts of environment or different components of environment, right? Human, human-made, and natural. Now we are going to learn about ecosystem. So, what do you think ecosystem is? Any idea? Any guesses? So, ecosystem is an important part of our environment. And it varies from person to person. My, my ecosystem will be totally different from yours. Okay, your ecosystem will be totally different from your friends. Why? Because in every ecosystem is unique for every organism. Now I will give you the definition of ecosystem and we will discuss it in detail. See, ecosystem is the relation between the living organism. Okay, it is not necessary that it is a relationship between human beings only. It can be a relationship between human being and some other animal. It can be a relationship between human being and a dog or a cat, okay, or a parrot, or an elephant, okay, so the relationship between the living organism as well as the relationship between the organisms and their surroundings forms an ecosystem, okay, so if I am, so it, in an ecosystem, I interact with my fellow beings, I interact with other humans, I interact with other animals, and also I interact with my surrounding, right? I interact with my surrounding and all this interaction forms ecosystem. That is why I said in the beginning that for each of us, huh? you know, each of us will be having different ecosystems and unique ecosystem. Why? Each of us will be having different kind of relation 
it's our environment and fellow beings and other living organisms right got it now see there are different types of ecosystem okay there are desert ecosystem there are rainforest ecosystem there is oceanic marine ecosystem or ocean ecosystem okay the ecosystem varies varies from place to place now let's see few some of the ecosystems that is present in our nature can you see this image right now see in the first image you could see two monkeys playing in a forest right now this forest is an example of an ecosystem why the monkeys in this picture interact with each other and interact with the forest and that forest is their environment and that particular region is their ecosystem ecosystem is not just about the place around us or the things around us it is about the relationship we have with the things and place and also other beings in that surrounding okay then we have another ecosystem right it's the sky we can see two birds and then we have desert ecosystem and then we have a pond ecosystem we could see you know we could see two a duck and his children swimming right so these are all different kinds of ecosystem all right and each ecosystem is unique it ha it has its own characteristics and features got it good now so we have covered what is environment we have understood the function of environment then we have dealt with the components of environment then we have dealt with the components of natural environment okay and in that we study about lithosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and biosphere then we have studied ecosystem now we are going to study about human environment so human environment mean it includes us humans and also the things the human made things right see so in the ancient times okay the, i mean when the man was first uh, okay when we evolved from monkeys okay during that time our needs were very limited okay all we did was roam around and eat and as we evolved further our needs also extended or our needs also expanded and right? as a result we found tools and we were able to invent wheel and with the invention of wheels we created made it led to the creation of many other things finally industrialization happened and mass production started beginning all this started to happen but there is a challenge or there is one thing we human beings are the only creature that modify our environment sometimes we modify our environment into an extent which is it's which is very harmful to our environment i will show you an image see this picture you see a construction is going on right and you could see lot of skyscrapers have been built and you see you can see the land has been dug up and roads has been paved now do you think it has been here from the time begin time no no right we build build those skyscrapers we build those apartments right but what was before these what was here before these apartments were made built the batteries there there may be a pond but there may be a small water body we destroyed it we modified it right for our need sometimes for our greed right so this is one example how example of how human beings are able to modify our environment and it's not a good way either right we can modify our environment in a good way we could plant lots of trees in a barren land it's called afforestation or reforestation right it's a positive way of modifying our environment but this image shows a negative way of modifying our environment i'll have an i'll show you another picture see cars a technology we build which helps us to move faster from place to place travel comfortably from on from one place to another is an another example see and the in, can you see the industries in the background 
right can you see oh can you see how polluting they are how they are polluting your environment right they are polluting your environment and this in turn harms us right so it's time we human beings think about the consequences i mean it's not i'm not saying that we shouldn't be having technology or we shouldn't be having comfort but we should sustainably manage those things okay we should sustainably we should be focusing on sustainable development we should be focusing on economic development i mean our comfort at the same time we should be focusing on the well being of our environment too all right did you understand did you understand the chapter uh huh is everything fine thank you so that's it that's about environment i hope you guys are clear with the concept